Yeah, 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 guys, today we've got a tutorial about using AI in anime edits. People keep hitting me up in direct messages and comments like, what AI is this? How did you do that? So today we'll break down where AI really helps and how I personally use it. Let's go. How does AI help in edits? First, your own store align. Not like everyone else's. Honestly, most edits nowadays are the same thing. Only the effects differ. You're not even watching anime anymore. Just a parade of effects. But with AI, you can actually show what you want. For example, I made a video about the Akatsuki. Everyone always wanted them to win. And now, you can actually show that version instead of just imagining it. Second, copyright bypass. You've probably caught a strike. Because your clip used too much raw anim footage, and sometimes that piece is important. You can't just cut it out. What did people do before? Drowned it in effects, or cut it so messy that it turned into garbage. Now you can bring frames in that clip to life, and boom, no strike. But the meaning is preserved. Third, fixing bad frames. It happens in anim. Most shots look great, but one frame looks trash and ruins the vibe. Now I swap those through AI, and most viewers don't even notice. This really boosts the dynamics and overall quality of an edit, especially with static shots. You can animate them, or just remake them completely. What AIs to use? I mostly use Minimax for anim, and here's why. It handles blood and gore without issues. The censorship is super chill. On my Akatsuki edit, not a single request got rejected, even though some of them were pretty wild. I use others too, Kling, Veer, Van and more, but specifically for anim. Minimax is the best. How I work with it. Example, Minimax. Animating still frames, up to 10 seconds in 720p, or maximum 6 seconds in 1080p. Pro tip, better do it in 720p and upscale later with Topaz. Looks almost the same, but saves credits. In between animation, you can stitch scenes, or make smooth transitions from one frame to another. Great for creating motion out of a single image. Integration with image generators, I grab frames from Nano Banana or C Dream, set up the pose or scene I need, and then animate them in Minimax. Same with stitching start and end frames, that way you can turn a still into a full moment with emotions and movement. And boom, you've got a moment, that never existed in the anim, but you always wanted to see. And there are endless possibilities, the only limit is your imagination. Wrapping up. You say I, guys, it really gives you the chance to make original edits, monetize them, and stop worrying about strikes. Sure, you can still do it the old way, beg musicians for permission, dump a bunch of effects, but you see yourselves how dead edits are now in terms of views. Everything looks the same, with AI, you can surprise again. Create what anim itself will never show. If anyone wants to see how it works in practice, here's my telegram. Hit me up. I can animate a couple of your shots as a demo, while my credits last. Haha. <laughs> of course, no AI today can make a super dynamic fight scene. But give it a year, it'll be possible. Even now, it's already a powerful tool. AI is a chance to win back your audience, spark interest again, and rise up once more. And look, neural networks get updates every week. Sora 2 just came out, and it's got some cool new tricks. Here I showed what I use for edits. Minimax delivers bloody scenes really well. There are tons of other neural networks, and I cover them in reviews on another channel. And there are a lot of nuances to getting those really powerful shots. But I need your support. If this is interesting to you, please support the video with a like. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I think tutorials will start appearing here more often. And I'll even make a separate channel fully dedicated to AI generated videos. Much love, lifted you up, and let you go. Syro, Amagus.